All right, we're back with round two of the bullet resistant glass demonstration here. We're trying to find out what really will stop some of these bullets. So what we have here now is a piece of the stuff that we shot before. We've got a piece of it here and another piece behind it with about a uh, three quarter inch gap in between the two. Up here, we have, you can see here, we have a piece of the uh, the same stuff we shot before, which runs full length. And then on top of that are four eighth inch sheets of stuff, Lexan, that you can buy locally. So uh, we're going to try the two and see if either one of them has any, uh, any distinct benefit over the other with some of the same calibers that we did last time. Now we're not going to use all the same calibers because obviously some of them bounced off and didn't have any effect last time. So we're going to try a couple of different ones this time and see see what we come up with here. Alright, let's back off here and shoot and see what it looks like. Okay, something we didn't try last time was a 22, and we don't know what the 22 will do. I have my doubts that it'll bounce off, but just in case it does, I've got a little more protection than I usually have, and the uh, everybody else is going to be back here out of the way, so I'm going to walk up here a little closer. from about eight feet here. Alright, as we figured not much not much danger from a twenty two going through it there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do all the handguns. We got a nine millimeter I know there's not a lot of point in trying it, but we're just going to use it as a control because we know we know what it did last time. We've got a 10 millimeter, 44, 357, and we're going to try that in both levels of the, the glass, both thicknesses of glass there. Do one in the top and then one in the bottom. Millimeter. Now the first one is uh, a hand-loaded hollow point. The next one is a hand-loaded full metal jacket. Quite a bit faster than what uh, the factory loads. Are. Just about bounced it off there. It's gonna catch it. Okay, now I think we only brought two of those. Jason, what do you have in this magazine? 135 grain Hornady uh, XD piece. All right. Last time, the 125 grain 357 Magnum zipped right through that like like nothing. So. Two different things. Keep thinking it's going to fall down. <laughs> All right, we have a uh, 44 Magnum Ruger, Ruger Super Red Hawk with 240 grain hollow points. See that from back there? Yes, sir. It's fragmented here. The 22 hit, went inside this, and spread uh, pieces of lead out here. The next one was the 9 millimeter. 
nothing on the back, it didn't go through at all. At both 10 millimeters, neither of them made it through the the uh, second level there. Now with the 357 Magnum, it made it through the first one pretty obviously. The bullet went through and just splashed off of this one. It, it probably fell down. It's probably laying on the ground here. We'll see if we can find it. But it just it just colored it. It didn't even didn't crack it or chip it or anything. So two levels will stop, I, I would imagine, most any handgun. Well, I don't know about a 460, but uh, 44 Magnum. The 44 Magnum did not make it through. That hollow point did not make it through all the way through the first one. Down here, let's see, we got the four, the eighth inch stuff here first. It made it through that and got some pretty good chips here in the back, although um, it didn't make it all the way through. The 9mm and the 10mm, no indication at all that they even tried. Both of the 44s tried a little bit, but there's nothing broken there. It's just you can just feel a little bit of a bulge. So, two levels of that will. Remember the first one is the three quarter inch stuff that we used in the last test. And there's two of those here. In this side, there's four sheets of eighth inch Lexan that you can buy locally, Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. And, and a sheet of the, the three quarter inch stuff. And it looks like that will stop both of them. 